everyone. Today I thought I'd review a bunch of artwork. Um, I have a big box here full of it. <laughs> There's a lot in here. It's like a it's like a Lego Friends box. I've pulled some out. I did start doing the video, but the focus was terrible, so I opened the curtains. So I thought we'd start looking at this pile I've pulled out here and then put it in a new pile. So. Here's the first one. This is a Monster High Haunted Kiyomi Hauntly. I just love the artwork. It looks so pretty. Love the way she looks. Age 16. This is all about her there, which is really cool. It only says the first little paragraph, though, because the rest is in other languages. So cool seeing this box work again. Obviously, it's cardboard because, you know, it was cut off of the box. We have... Amanita Nightshade here, another piece I've cut off from a box. She was from the Gloom and Bloom line. It's just a nice picture of her, I must have liked there. And then I've kept this piece here, Dawn of the Dance Laguna Blue, Monster High. I bought the re-release of this doll because um, the original was really expensive. I have a Twilight Sparkle here from Equestria Girls. I must have liked this. Anything that I like, I've just kept, and then I've got Jennifer along. This is from the, what's it called? Scaremester, the Scaremester line. Really pretty doll. I think I got this on holiday. Um, there was a bunch of Scaremester dolls I got on holiday, and I think she was one of them. This is from the reboot. This is Frankie, the original, like, newer version they brought out. Artwork's still really pretty. Rochelle Goyle. This is from Scareess. She looks really cool. Such a pretty doll. The actual doll is really pretty as well. Uh, and then this is from the Scarier Reef line. The last line before they um, rebooted it. And this is Frankie Stein. She looks really cool. I love the Monster High skillet and everything on here. It's so cool. Oh, and then here we have... I must have cut the top of her head off for some reason there. I don't know why. This is Jennifer Long from the uh, Freak Du Chic line blowing her fire flame and then oh perry and pal from great scary reef there's a lot of artwork so i'm probably gonna have to put this into a few videos but hopefully you'll enjoy seeing it i'm certainly enjoying seeing it again such beautiful artwork these were like the daughter of daughters of the hydra they're really cool Oh, and then this is from the Scaremester line again. This is Twyla. I kept the whole back of the box. And it says, be yourself, be unique, be a monster. Definitely love that saying. Daughter of the Boogeyman. She's so cute. Twyla is such a pretty girl. And it says all about her on here. I won't read it all because it'll take forever reading everything. But here you go. Look, it's got a whole bit on here that you can read. I guess that's why I kept the whole back of the box. And I love the spider webs and everything on it. And the ripped notepads and these spider webs here it's just so detailed i just love it oh why don't a spider she's really cool so this is the iheart fashion why don't a spider they came out of a comic con version of her as well but obviously i couldn't get her she was too expensive but this one was amazing anyway and i love the spider web that she's like in there she is such a cool a cool doll she looks amazing i love all the arms <laughs> it's just so unique Oh, and this, oh, this is one of my favourite lines ever. So this one was the, and it says, be, you, be, you, be yourself, be unique, be a monster. Frederella, Frankenstein, obviously daughter of uh, Frankenstein. Once there was a lovely ghoul whose heart was sweet and kind. She sewed all day with no time for play, but but for a better unlife she pined. Her name was Frederella, and she lived with her stepsisters three, who were totally catly and even quite bratty, not nearly as nice as she one day Frederella told them about her grand grandest dreams, but they shook their heads and laughed as they said, you'll just fall apart at the seams. <laughs> and then Dracula and Claudine, who were also in the line. Um, what was her name? <laughs> uh, Dead Wolf, I think it was. A uh, little red dead wolf, little red dead wolf or something. And then she was was her name oh snow bite it's hard to remember i've probably got their artwork in here somewhere though because i love this line this was the one i had to get i love the dracula the most in this line though this is shriek wreck to reboot one nautical ghouls 
this is like one of the first reboot ones they brought out but she had like articulation in this line of Draculaura I do love the artwork it is really cool the map and everything and she was a cool doll but her hair was a little bit crazy it didn't look as good as it did in the art Laguna and Rochelle there I'm so glad I kept all this and then oh here's another one of these this is uh we showed I showed you another bit of this box earlier this is um dance class Laguna this is a bit of it like there oh only a little bit's in English and the rest is in another language um I don't have Operetta but I do have these two I bought them second hand you probably remember me reviewing them oh and then Goliope Jellington from the oh this one's a bit ripped here uh Goliope Jellington from the uh Freak du Chic breakout breakout star of Freak du Chic she's so pretty I actually have two of her I ended up with two. Oh, and then the the big this was the five pack I must have split it in like we'll probably find the other bit somewhere for president, that's slow mo Laguna for vice president for social chair Cleo. <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah, this was a five pack, I think. There was two others. Was it Gilda and Scara? We'll probably find them soon. So cute. Oh, Fredarella. Not Fredarella, Snowbite. Here we go. Snowbite. Let me just have a drink before I read this. Hold on. <laughs> Reading makes you feel, my throat feel a bit dry. Snowbite. Once there was a kingdom where the ghouls were wondrous fair, yet none could hold a candle to snow bite of the raven hair. In manner she was proper and graceful, in attitude generous and kind. That she was considered fairest never crossed her mind. For she shared a gothic cottage deep in a primeval wood with seven friends who were zombies, and for the eight of them unlife was good. And then obviously the other two. She's so pretty. She's definitely one of my top favourite dolls. I just love the, I love the poison apple like aspect of it. It's so cool. Oh, and this Claudine, she's from the school, the ghoul sports. This is my favourite saying there. She looks really cool. She had like a bubble gum thing in her mouth, so I was never sure about getting her because I don't like it when they have things in their mouth. But it was actually fine. It looked all right, and this is about it there. Torrelight and Spectra I actually had to buy her second hand. I saw her in a B&M a long time ago and I passed her up and I always regretted it but I did manage to get her second hand and fix her up pretty well so I do have her now. I wish I'd bought her at the time but I did get her eventually so that's the main thing. Oh and then Slow Mo and Gulia, the two pack. Love's Not Dead I think it was called. Yeah there we go, Love's Not Dead. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> two zombies and then Oh, here we go. Little Dead Riding Wolf. Yeah, see, I was kind of right. <laughs> She's really pretty too. Her coat though, um, gets it's got it gets dust in. You can't get the dust out because of what it's made out of. It's really that's kind of annoying but it's so she's such a pretty doll the whole of this line is amazing i think frankie's probably my least favorite of the three i don't know why i just prefer dracula and claudine i think they're just more elaborate if you know what i mean and then it says little dead riding wolf stood hooded in red a bright full moon in the sky overhead a casket of goodies held in one paw for her grand wolf who was feeling kind of down in the claw now stick to the path talk to none on the way go straight to grand's house without delay yes mother she said she left with a bounce little knowing another monster was waiting to pounce and um these all came with like, their own little diaries um, and they came of a story. They were so cool. Um, I don't know where they are. I think I had all the stories. Oh, what's this one? Oh, this is the picture day, Cleo. Oh, it's so cute. I had to get this doll. The girls got her a long time ago. I think that was the first Cleo, the second Cleo they ever got, or the first Cleo, one or the other. And I really like this Cleo. There's her little pet, a set, the snake. So cute. <laughs> and then, oh, we have Zoe Zoom. From the Shopkins there. I obviously thought she was cute as well. And then we have a sugar coat from the Equestria Girl, so it's kind of a mix. It's mostly Monster High, but there will be other things thrown in here. Crystal Prop Academy, this is from the yeah, the school spirit one. Lucy Smoothie. I remember when I got her, I was kind of annoyed because I ordered the original version. I ended up getting the big pack, but she's actually really cute. Lucy Smoothie. It should come with loads of extra Shopkins, but I don't. I don't collect Shoppies for Shopkins. And then here we have 
Perouetta. Girls Day Out. Just too, too cute. Very adorable. And we have this one here. Sara Sushi. She's a really pretty doll as well. And I have this bit here too. Of her. I kept two of them. She's really pretty. That's Jessica Cake from the uh, Wild Wild something. What is it called? I'm so bad at remembering these things. It was the pet one. <laughs> oh, cool. It's Jane Boo Little. So this is from Boo, uh, Gloom and Boone. Gloom and Bloom. Jane Boo Little. She's really pretty. She, actually, pref I like the original version, but she's better because the original versions had kind of like messy hair. Oh, and it's My Little Pony. Boutique Salon. Oh, yeah, this was like the little mini boutique. I think um, I got this for like only three quid or something from a and m I just really like the artwork. Usually the art's a bit boring on these packets, but I love it when they have pictures of the ponies. I love ponies. <laughs> you know me. And then we have Jessica Cake. This was like one of the first Shopkins I bought. I think uh, Donatina was the first one. Oh, here she is. This is the first Shopkin I bought, Donatina. And then I bought Jessica Cake as well, not long after. Cute. She's definitely one of my favourites. They're both really cute though. And then we also have <clears throat> Melodine. A little bit of art. Looks like I've just ripped it. I'm like, yeah, just rip it. <laughs> and then, ah, uh, Applejack and Twilight. Very cute. I did like the, uh, when they brought out, I think this is from the uh, newer versions of the Equestria. I didn't really like the dolls a huge amount. Like I just bought one of each, mainly a couple of extra Pinkie Pies because it was Pinkie Pie. But um, I really liked the artwork. It was really cool. Oh, this uh, Sunset Shimmer is one of my favourites. So she has ponied up style with, a crist with crystal wings and her wings actually flap, I think. Oh no, this isn't that one. This is the other one. They don't flap. She just had like hard, solid wings. She's really pretty though. But yeah, she's not the one with the flapping wings. I got confused. I thought that was the other one. Oh, and then this is the one where I bought Daisy. So Barbie Dreamhouse Adventures. I've actually got Nikki to review. Nikki. And I'm trying to get Barbie. I ordered her and I had to like, they had to refund me. Um, or they cancelled my order because... She wasn't available, but I've ordered her again. But I have got Nikki to review. I will review at some point. I did review uh, Skipper and Daisy. I don't know if this is Skipper or Daisy's box, but I did review both of those. Oh, it might be Skipper because it's got her all over it. It's a good show, though. It's actually pretty good. I've watched some of it with Lily, and it's not bad. It's not as good as the original Dream House, but, you know, oh, there's some stuff this side as well. But um, still good, you know, for what it is. It's pretty good. Oh, what do we have? Oh, my little pony booklet. That's so cute. Oh, I love it when I find these. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, look. Apple Jack's little cider stand. It's got Granny Smith there of a pony. Oh, that came with the uh, thingy. And then Cider Squeezy, Big Mac, the two cousins. And on the back, it's got a load of blind bags from the Apple family thing. It's so cute. I love these. And then we have another Donatina. That's from the first line again, I think. The one, the first one I got. So cute. Oh, and then here we have another My Little Pony thing. It's just like a big mixture. I could definitely do a sorting this out. Oh, it's derpy. Oh, so cute. Oh. And then there's the other ones on the back. I did, I don't know if I reviewed them, but I did buy a bunch of these things. I can never fold these things back up. It's a nightmare. <laughs> they going back that way. Uh, did it? Yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah, I did it. Yes. <laughs> okay, and then we have this. So this is the... This is Twyla. I didn't review this that long ago, actually. Daughter of the Boogeyman. Twyla. I do have Venus to review. I've had her in box for about a year. I need to review her at some point. I just don't want to open her in some ways because she's so cool. You know, it's Venus. I just want to, part of me wants to do from the box. I love the coffee stains on this box. It's so cute. This was like one of my favourite lines. I don't have the uh, Rebecca, but I do have these two. And I have the other three that came out. I actually found them on my birthday. When we went to B&M, it was so cool because they were like really cheap. 
Christmas is the perfect place to haunt out with your best friends, beast friends, while catching up on all the comings and groanings at Monster High. And then here, Twyla, Coffin Bean. I love the Coffin Bean playset. Her little drink is so cute. It looks like little marshmallows when you actually look at it. And I did review it not that long ago. Oh, I have some Wild Hearts crew artwork. So this is the... I'll go through this quickly because I didn't review these that long ago. So we have JC. <clears throat> then we have the back of Corey's box. Like I said, I didn't review that long ago. Oh, and then this... It's the side of the thingy box, the diner playset. Well, I've already been looking at this 15 minutes. It don't feel like it. I'll have to, <laughs> to work on a part two soon. So there's Draculaura. This is for the uh, the reboot ballerina line that come out. Ballet Ghouls, I think they were called. Oh, we have some more. Oh, this was the Fluttershy playset. It came with like a load of pets, but I must have liked the look of this because I kept that bit of it. Oh, we have Charlie, Charlie Lake. Oh, and we have this one here, Gulia, <coughs> Gulia Alps, Daughter of Zombies. It's weird, I didn't get a new inbox. Why do I have this? It's weird. Daughter of Zombies. That is really weird. But I did not get Gulia in the roller maze line. New, I got her second hand, so I don't know why I've got this. This is really strange. <laughs> Unless, well, the girls don't even have her, so. Very, very strange. Unless, I don't know <laughs> how, where that came from. More JC. More Bold Hearts crew stuff. Like I said, I got a lot of this. But I didn't review this that long ago, ready read more. Charlie Lake. Ah, oh, she's so pretty. I do really like the Wild Hearts crew, Rally Red more. Oh, and then we have here Monster High. A dad and a little sister. This is the kitchen, Monster Family kitchen. It's pretty cool. I love these little bits of artwork. They're so cute. So I will do a part two because, oh, wow, look, I've, I'm have i never going to be able to review all this like in one video. Oh my God, I've got so much to go through. I'm going to have to do quite a few parts, I think. So let me know what you think of this first part. <laughs> um, I will do a second part as well and maybe even a third and fourth. I don't know. You'll have to let me know what you think. If you like it, I'll keep doing it. So let me know in the comments. Like, comment and subscribe. Bye, everyone.